Okay, check it out. This is my three main instruments. Really, my two main instruments. The flute is there because it's pretty. The G clarinet, which is called a Turkish G, means it's key to the key of G. And my B flat clarinet, which is the rose gold back on protege with the mobile barrel. Ha <laughs> ha. So, peak game on it. These are my three main instruments. <clears throat> I do play this uh, um, saxophone occasionally, the alto and the soprano, and kind of put it underneath the music. So get a good look at that, and I'll let you hear what they sound like. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. Share, subscribe, like, and definitely comment. If you have any questions that you want to ask, put it in the comment section below. The comment section below. Now, today we're going to talk about the B flat clarinet versus the G clarinet, which is also known as the Turkish G clarinet. It's the other clarinet which I normally use. Um, kind of like mostly underneath the music. I actually co did a cover song, three songs with it. The Jonas Blue Fast Cars, the Cheap Thrills by Sia, and the Don't by Bryson Tiller. So those are my three covers that I actually played the um, lead with the G clarinet. So G clarinet goes three half steps lower than the B flat clarinet. So me being a shallow man who mainly play in that register, I do do clarion register from time to time and very rarely autissimo. So, but my favorite is shallow. Mm, that's it. So peep game. This is my G clarinet. Boom, boom, boom. It's much longer than the B flat clarinet. Um, the, and this is my main clarinet, the B flat. Foo. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, so to give you an example B flat clarinet. This is the low note on the B flat clarinet. Oh, <laughs> I tricked you. That's the lowest note on the B flat clarinet. So, me being a Shalomo man, I like to get lower. So, if I want to get lower, boom, G clarinet. You can also get the A clarinet, it goes lower, but not this low. This is really low. So this is the lowest note if I was playing it on the B flat clarinet, it would start here. And I could take it lower. B flat, lowest note. G lowest note. Mm-hmm. 
playing that in the peep game. This is as you all know the flute. I use this from time to time to kind of put a little extra flavor in my recordings, you know, just to make it really, really, really kind of beefed up. So when you're listening to a new like, wow, man, that's rolling. It's normally because I have little stuff like this in there doing little things um, inside the music also, or either the soprano sax, which I'll feature on another day. Sometime I used to melodica, melodian, pretty much the same thing, just two different makers, or my alto sax, which I kind of just started using. So be on the lookout for that. It's kind of like a little introductory to how I uh, come up with what instrument I'm going to use. Add the extra flavor, fatten up the beat, fatten up the sound. It's the one I use. So, flute. on this flute. I'm really new to the flute. My main instrument, as I said, is clarinet. Um, much better on the sax than the flute, but I still get down with it. Booyah! So, if you can play clarinet, flute, sax is a given. Just have to kind of practice on each one of them and decide which one you want to make your principal instrument. Rootway, subscribe. Um, check out my website, rootwaybeats.com. It has pretty much uh, a lot of the layout with the videos and all of that stuff on it, as well as sheet music that is currently updated. You can download. And um, that's all I have for you today. I'm out, you heard me. <laughs>